We are now ready to set up the interior of the Go. There are two bed support panels secured carefully with bungee cords on the back wall. These panels will be set into place on the bed platforms, which have an inset ledge on both sides. There are four corrugated panels in the sleeves which are open on one end for easy care. Place the open end towards the window and insert the ends into the pockets on either end of the bed platform. Find the ledge on both sides of the bed platform and set the bed support panels into place, making sure the bed panels are flush against the bed platform. Remember to set the bed support panels into place before putting weight on the bed platforms. You can now choose to open the windows. Simply unhook and roll up the shade and secure with the hook closure. For the main window, there are three options. Fully closed for privacy, clear for weather protection with a view, and screen mesh for warmer weather. When opened, the window panels can be stored in the pocket at the bottom. Along the floor of the go is a screened ventilation window that can be opened to increase airflow. Repeat on the opposite side. The Twinkle Toes carpet set is the perfect accessory to help keep your feet feeling nice and comfy. To finish setting up the bed, unzip the screen mesh in the ceiling to access the attic. Pull down the two self-inflating air mattresses and place on top of the bed support panels. Open both valves and allow them to inflate fully. A brand new mattress may take up to 30 minutes to inflate the first time. After inflating and deflating a few times, they should fill up in about 10 minutes. Also stored in the attic space are panels that are used for the table or to create the large king and a half size bed. Reach up to the end of the panels closest to the door and find the bungee cord with keyhole latch that secures it to the crossbar. Disconnect the latch from the pin and lift the panels off of the pin, which allows you to rotate the bar so they are able to be lowered. Lower the panels slowly until they are hanging against the back wall. Another latch and pin holds the other end to keep it from falling off while lowering. To set up the table, unhook the latch and remove one of the panels, setting it to the side. Reconnect the latch on the pin. Lift the remaining panel and rotate the bar to allow the panel to be raised above it. Rotate the bar back down, lower the panel hole onto the pin, and replace the latch to lock into place. Zip the mesh ceiling panel closed. Use one of the ratchet straps found in the front storage pod to set up the table. Unscrew the knob found about halfway down the back wall and set to the side. Attach the ratchet strap to the nylon loop found at the top center of the wall with the ratchet closest to the top. Place the panel on the bar where the knob goes with the smooth side facing up. The hole on the edge of the panel should match up with the hole where the knob goes. Attach the other end of the ratchet strap to the far end of the panel, hooking in a downward motion. This helps keep the table from popping off the hook. The ratchet can now be used to level the table. Once the table has been leveled, replace the knob, securing it to the wall. Do not lift the table panel once it is in place, as it can damage the knob. This is a great time to put up additional accessories like the super organizer, Mr. Stow-It-All, and the storage star, Nothing But Net. You've now created the ultimate Go Camp setup for two. The versatility of the Go allows for a variety of different configurations. To take down the table, unscrew the knob and set to the side. Unhook the ratchet strap and place the panel between the two bed platforms. The lip on the ends of the panel should rest securely on the edges of the bed. This configuration creates a seat between the beds, a nightstand, or even a sleeping area for a small child. Be sure to replace the knob. To set up the king and a half size bed, you need to add the second panel. With the table disassembled and the knob back in place, unzip the screen mesh to access the attic and remove the second panel the same way as the first. Set both panels on the ends of the bed platform and push them together against the back wall. This will create one large flat surface with a small opening right by the door, allowing you to stand up while getting out of the go. The two mattresses from the storage pod are slightly shorter and designed to fit on top of the two panels. 
Whether one or two panels are set into place, additional storage space is created underneath. You now have a full king and a half size bed and are ready for a great night's sleep.